Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the scanner not working on Windows 11 computer or even Windows 10. You can follow these steps. So let's get started. Obviously, the very first thing to check is sometimes if you're connected with a wire, make sure that your connection or plugged in, it didn't get loose or anything. Now, if you're on Bluetooth, you want to basically make sure your network setting is turned on. So it's simple but a very powerful thing. And the next troubleshooting when it comes to most technologies, making sure you restart both devices, your computer, and of course your uh, scanner as well. Usually you can unplug it, or for a computer you can just go to the Windows icon here and then power it down from here and then restart it again. So those are gonna be the simple and easy thing to do. Now, if you're not still working, the more advanced stuff you wanna do, first thing is you're gonna go to the search bar here and then search for services. So you're gonna search for services, right? And under the services here, there's a couple of things you wanna go ahead and check out. First one, it's gonna be your Windows image service here. So you're gonna either can press the W on your keyboard or scroll down until you see the Windows. So you're gonna scroll down until you see this Windows image accusation or WIA and then you're going to right click here basically right click here so you can access the properties now from here on we're going to want to go ahead and set up with this startup type we're going to set this to do automatic and then we're going to make sure to click on start and it's going to do that and we're going to hit apply and then ok like that now another service you want to check out is the shell hardware detection so here I'm going to search for the S so you're going to look for shell hardware detection same thing right click on properties and then here you want to just check out this is startup type automatic and then once you set up and if it's not automatic change it to automatic click on start apply OK and the next one is you're going to search for is remote procedure call so remote procedure call this one right here we're going to right click again click on properties and then we're going to make sure it's automatic as well and it is running if not just change it to automatic running click on start apply ok and after you do that your scanner should be working if it wasn't working before now of course another thing to do is if you have an update for the driver you want to look for that so if it's a printer slash scanner you're going to type in printer and scanner on the search bar so you can get to the settings for that you can open that up and then you're going to look for update if you're connected to it usually it will show up if there's an update here for the driver uh, i don't have it here but you should if you have update connected it will come up here you want to go ahead and update it as well and that's it about fixing it hopefully by following these steps your scanner is working again if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more Tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.